told y'all we was gonna be back in literally a few, so let's continue. They're pretty good with the monsters. Yeah, they are. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> Ooh, <shit>. AJ! <sighs> So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? <laughs> he can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect them to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. I didn't know his name. AJ, either, so. I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... But I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Uh. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Alright, AJ. We're gonna help you uh, make some friends. Let's talk to... There's that girl, I bet. Yeah. Wanna talk to her? You mean... Say I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared. And I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. No, oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we <laughs> get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Um, who's next? Hmm, yes. Ready? Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello? And no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. He talks like a weirdo. Let me look around. Oh, I need to see these folks. Hey. Hey, you're new. 
I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, no yeah, shit. I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? Want to see something cool? I want to see. <laughs> yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see who else is over here. Who else can we talk to? I want to look around too. Examine. They can see over the walls with that. Smart. Very. Um, what else? What else? What else? He's over there go there first. What's over here? Oh, people. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry too. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. Yes. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. I got some fake flowers that'll last long. Do they count? Thank you. Alright, cool. We're getting on everybody's good side. Uh, who's my man in the little in the little chair over there? Not going over there yet. Hey, my guy. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, it's you two. Clementine, right? Yeah. Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary. I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know. Bye. <laughs> okay. Not Clint? to be rude. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. All right, let's go, Phil. Little homie. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. That dog, big He's a shit. sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Hey, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! 
Guys earn your supper after all. I did help your ass out. See how dinner goes. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Hey, mm. Jay. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Man, clean your face. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Damn. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. God damn! Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet! It's time! <laughs> <laughs> What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What the hell is what about he? it? Looks like he's made a friend. Oh, cool. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Okay, what's up? Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Parents? Where are AJ's parents? Dead. You two don't really look related, so... They're dead? They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Got a good one. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Uh. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Mm, he deserved it. Booyah! Hi, right, what's up? Come on, Hi, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? I'm gonna beat oh your ass. my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh. There was a boy once. Let me go bring up Gabe. Let's bring up Gabe. I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? 
Did Claire have feelings for him? Yeah, she had feelings for him. I don't know what you'd call them, but I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Lee. Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Keep Lots of stuff. Short. Most important thing? Keep my hair short. How do you How doing? to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Uh. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You what suck. Happened, uh, Not as much anyone. as baseball. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. What's mm. up? Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Not answering that. That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Anyone but me. Any one of you, <laughs> but certainly not me. <laughs> so sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. Come it's on, not a fun question. Ask. Ask it. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Yes. Lee. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Punch. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, yeah. real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. No, no harm. No. You guys relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. In other words, that's a yes. We can stay. They're not gonna get to know us and then kick us out. We could hide in there. If a monster came. <laughs> Don't think we'll have to. Oh, well, in case we do. Thanks for pointing that out. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Uh, 
Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? That. Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. <laughs> huh. I see you're um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my <laughs> liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You sound like you me. Know? I know I sometimes have a habit have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. Good job. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. <laughs> he tried really hard. <laughs> How about here? Uh, AJ? Is he hiding? Why are you under the Why are you under the floor? Hey there. What are you doing? Under the bed, I mean. This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? Bro, what if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? <sighs> I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you?
please, Clem? It's not so bad down here. Come on, man. Sleep in a bit. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. This bed is really soft. <laughs> Told you so. <laughs> it's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. I wouldn't it jinx it. Oh, things don't go to shit. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. You got an office? Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Oh, man, a little too fast, my guy. I know it's gotta be some exploring I could do. It's in here. Hey, Clem. Hey. Thanks for the pencils. Mm -hmm. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? Gone. I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Or oh, trying to save themselves. They were weak. What? No. They were brave. Strong. Now, give it to me and... No. He's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Calm down, AJ. It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture. Of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? What the hell? Marlon? <laughs> Stay back. Marlon, oh, come get your dog. Hey, 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 it's okay, dude. Shh. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. Don't say that. She no. just needs to get to know you is all. Yeah, I've heard that plenty of times. Here. I'll show you. It doesn't work all the time. Do you trust me? Yeah, let's trust him. Rosie. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. 
to lie down, Rosie. <laughs> I like her already. Her already. <laughs> That's so cool. See? Not so hard. That was big as shit. Yeah. That I'm still was scared of that bitch. Pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Oh, fucking don't go here. Trap. Well, what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Mm hmm. Mm. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Go fishing or hunting? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hunting or fishing? Hunting or fishing? Hunting or fishing? 
that's a that's a that's a good that's a good uh d- decision to make a difficult decision to make um damn i think i'd rather go hunting yeah let's go hunting let's go do some hunting yeah take this i don't want you getting lost thanks we need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food just remember to stay in the safe zone we need you to come back home in one piece so that means we can stay what do you think i was gonna throw you out maybe well as long as we got enough to eat you're both welcome here go get him aj all right, let's get going. See you around. I was trying to see if he was going to stare at her ass like, bitch, what you looking at? All right. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Goofy Skilled age. in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Psst. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. All the time. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Sh shut up a second. Walker? He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Well, you can starve. So dramatic. What the fuck am I gonna help Lewis with? Lewis is over there looking dumb as hell. So you already know where I'm going. Come to hunt? I hear something rustling around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. <laughs> Bro, look at my mans. What is wrong with you? you a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Motherfuck. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. I saw some others run this way. Oh 
Oh my! Shit. They're such a pain in the ass to hit. Clem! Clem, come here! I don't think I'm meant to hit those Look, rabbits. It got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat let is good meat. No, it's let it enough. go. Release it. Let it get bigger. I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Man, let the thing go. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. There you go, little fella. Bye, bunny. You're so cute! Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I guess this is it. Hopefully next time there are more targets. And maybe some sharper aiming. Yeah, sorry. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't going to be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Lewis cannot be taken seriously. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! Open. This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. <clears throat> Not that far gone. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just, fuck, it's okay. It's, breathe, Brody, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food, you know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do, eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, no. let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. We might have to go outside the border. 
train station. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. That fool got blown sure to hell. Food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. Hopefully we won't get fucked. This was a pretty long episode. I'm going to uh, cut it off right here and then continue. Anytime now. Alright, be back in a few.